So I get asked quite often what tools I'm using in my Amazon business. For example, in a lot of my videos, you can see the extensions that I have installed in Chrome. And a lot of people ask what they are. So what I thought I'd do is that in a single video, I'll show you the different tools that over time I've curated that you may or may not have heard of that I find helpful so that hopefully you find them useful as well. But first, my name is Crescent. And on my channel, I share tips and strategy videos, just like this one, on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. So I'm pretty sure you've all done the same thing as me. I've gone through a countless number of tools, trying to find the ones that can help make my Amazon life just a little bit easier or do something just a little bit faster. Some end up being a waste of time while others don't quite do what you're looking for, right? So anyway, here's a list of the tools that I use and let's start with the Chrome extensions. All right, so one of the best Chrome extensions that I installed and it's probably the first one that I actually installed well, when I first switched over to Chrome is called Tab Activate. And it's this one right over here. And what it does is when I open a new link it, when I'm browsing, it opens up that tab immediately. So it's these tiny little things that make my life a lot easier, not just when I'm uh, doing Amazon, but when I'm just surfing the internet. So for example, if I'm looking at uh, these can openers on Amazon, if I open up one of these in a new tab, you'll notice that it immediately switches to that tab. So it's one less mouse click that I need to make. All right, so just to show you what I mean, if I come here and I turn off this tab activate, Let's go back to um, Amazon. If I open this up in the in a new tab, you'll notice that it didn't switch this time. So now I have to go up to the top, click on the new tab, and then I can view the link that I want to open. Okay, so tab activate, it's free. It's one of the most convenient Chrome extensions that I use. All right, let's move on to the next Chrome extension and it's called Keepa. And what it does is if I were to open, for example, this can opener listing, if I scroll down below the main photo, Keepa opens up here in a little window and it shows you a whole bunch of information here. And it used to show you the sales rank, but now this is a paid app. But what I use it for is sometimes I come down here and I look and I can see the age of this listing, okay? And this comes in handy because not all the product research tools offer this metric. So this is a free part of Keepa that you can use to get this data and I use this metric to determine saturation in a niche. And again, that's this uh, field right here, 104 days old, okay? And that's Keepa. I'll put links to all of these Chrome extensions in the description below so you can download them. All right, and the next tool that I use is the Amazon FBA calculator, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. And this is the calculator here. You do need to have a Seller Central account to have access to this calculator. And it's super convenient because all you need to do is grab the ASIN of a product that you're looking at. And once you enter that into the calculator, it gives you the product dimensions and weight, which is used to calculate the FBA fees. Okay, then you can play with the fields here to figure out what your fees are and what your profit is. Okay, you can see it breaks it down here, your uh, referral fee and then the fulfillment fee here. And if you hover over the arrow, it'll give you another breakdown here. Okay, so this is super convenient to figure out if the niche you're looking at is profitable or not. Now, the thing is, is if you don't have access to this tool, there are other ways to get access to a calculator, which I'll show you now, instead of having to go to an, a separate web page to get the uh, fees and uh, profit margin. If we go back to the can opener niche, for example, and we pull up the AMZ Scout Chrome extension, What's powerful about AMZ Scout is they have this calculator built in to the Chrome extension. So for example, if I was looking at this uh, same can opener, this one here, if I click the arrow here, you can see here that the profit calculator link is in the Chrome extension. So if I click on it, it pulls up the profit calculator uh, in one convenient step, okay? So let's say for example, it costs $4 for this unit. I can get the fees and my profit immediately down here, okay? So total fees is 540 and the profit per unit is 457, okay? Convenient, one less step that I need to do. I'll use this calculator here if I need to figure out the uh, profit margins or fees instead of having to do multiple steps, all right? Now, if you don't have the AMZ Scout Chrome extension, 
Uh, AMZ Scout does have a free FBA calculator that I can download and install into Chrome, and it's this one right here. So for example, if I were to look at this can opener and I click on the Chrome extension, you can see here that it says run AMZ Scout calculator. It pulls up that same calculator here, okay? And again, it pulls up the size and weight, which is convenient. So let's just say the cost again is $4. You can see that it, it figured out the uh, FBA fees and the profit per unit here, just like the in the Chrome extension, okay? All right, moving on. The next Chrome extension that I wanna show you is called Stock Stats. And it's this one right here, and it's also by AMZ Scout. And what's convenient about this one is when you're product tracking a niche, you need to add probably 15 or 20 listings to a product tracker and or do the 999 cart method. And this is something you wanna do every 24 hours for 10 to 14 days or longer if you can to collect enough data to figure out if the sales velocity meets your targets, right? Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about as far as product tracking and doing the 999 cart method, I'll leave a link to it here as well as down in the video description below so you can learn about it. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna show you how convenient this Chrome extension is. So instead of having to do the 999 cart method, which is pretty tedious, uh, if you click on this and run stock stats, you can see that it pulled up the stock, how many units this seller has in stock at this time. So just by running this extension, I can take note of this and record it in an Excel spreadsheet. So using this method cuts down doing the 999 cart method to just a few minutes rather than 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. Now another powerful tool that I like to use to keep my listings optimized is a keyword rank checker and index checker. Okay. And it's this tool right here. So for example, let's just copy this ASIN for this listing. And if I were to open this tool, you can see it's going to ask me where I want to do the search on. And so let's just stick with amazon.com. And if I type in the ASIN, it's going to search this ASIN for the keywords that I enter here and tell me if they're indexed or not. So for example, that is a can opener product, right? So let's just check to see if the word phrase can opener is indexed. And then I can enter more, for example, stainless steel. And then just to show you a keyword that probably isn't indexed by the seller, uh, something just out of the ordinary like um, tires, okay? Because it's totally uh, not related to tires, right? If I click on check, you can see here for those three keyword phrases, can opener is indexed and it's on page one and position seven and then stainless steel is indexed. However, it's the page rank is greater than 10, so it doesn't know exactly where it is, but it is indexed. Um, and tires isn't indexed, obviously, because the seller isn't trying to index the word tires for something that's a uh, stainless steel can opener, right? Makes sense? So what I do is I use this tool to make sure all the keywords that I want indexed for my products, in my, for my listings, are actually indexed by Amazon's A9 algorithm. Okay, so it's a powerful tool to use and it's the index checker and I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. All right, now moving on to web tools that I use. So first one I wanna show you is another FBA calculator and it's actually from Viral Launch. And I wanna show you this one because sometimes you wanna change the size and weight of the product to make sure the fees are accurate, all right? And it's important you do that because for example, if you decide to bundle or if you're trying to increase the, the uh, number of items inside the uh, unit that you wanna sell, you wanna make sure that the size and weight accurately reflects what that actual unit's gonna be so that the fees are correct. Because you need to make sure that the profit margin will actually hit your target, okay? So for example, if we look at that can opener one again and I paste the uh, ASIN here, if I click on calculate, you can see that it pulled up the same results as the AMZ Scout uh, profit calculator. Shows you here that a profit per unit is $5.13. These are the referral fees and these are Amazon fees, okay? But what's powerful about the one from Viral Launch is that you can click on this edit dimensions button here and now it can change the size and the weight. So let's say I want to include two of these can openers. Well, then obviously the size and weight of this box is probably gonna change, right? So the weight will definitely double. So instead of half a pound, it's gonna be one pound and then Let's just say it fits inside the same box, okay? So if I click on update, you'll notice that the fee went up. It's now $4.77. 
Okay, so this is why I like to use this tool if I know I'm gonna bundle with something or whatever I'm doing is gonna change the size and weight like the packaging. I wanna make sure that I know what the exact FBA fees are so I can calculate the exact profit margin, okay? So for example, if you're bundling, you wanna get the item weight of that other product and you can do that on Amazon as well by searching that other product, get the weight of that and then just combine that uh, weight with the original product unit, okay? And then enter it here. Okay, so a tool that I discovered um, over a year ago is such a powerful tool and I actually made a video uh, specifically on this tool and I'll leave a link to it over here as well as in the description below and it's a website called Yassive. And this is such a powerful tool because one of the best ways to differentiate your product is to find something to bundle with it, okay? So what Yassive does is that it goes through and finds products that people have frequently bought together with the main item. So again, if we go to yassive.com, we wanna change this to all, and then we'll type in um, can opener or the ASIN. All right, so once it's loaded, you can see here on the right that I found 171 products that people bought along with this can opener. You can see right in the middle is that can opener, and now it's created this web. So if we zoom out of here, you can see that people that bought this can opener also bought all these other items, okay? So let's just close this here. So you can see here that people that bought this can opener also bought this peeler, uh, this garlic press, um, this, uh, what is this? Um, a lemon zester and a lemon squeezer. It looks like a, a corkscrew uh, wine opener deal. Okay, and it leads you down these paths like, to find ideas that you probably wouldn't even have thought of. Okay, so it's just a powerful tool to give you different ideas to expand your horizon so you're thinking outside the box when you're trying to differentiate your product, specifically if you're trying to bundle, okay? And like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below to a video that I talk about specifically on how to use Yassif. All right, so another web tool that I like to use, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know that this exists, is since we've had this uh, increase in tariffs from China, um, it's good to know exactly what your duties are gonna be before you commit to a product so you're aware of what you're potentially gonna to have to pay just to import a product into the US, okay? And so there's a website here um, called the Harmonized Tariff Schedule. Is what you're gonna do is you're gonna search for the product that you plan on uh, importing from China, and it's gonna tell you what the duties are. So for example, if we're gonna look up a can opener, we can type in can opener here. And it's gonna pull up a lot of related listings here. So what I like to do is just do a search for a can opener and I'll look on the left here until I see the category that matches the stainless steel can opener that we're looking at, okay? So you can see here that the first result is actually a handheld battery operated automatic can openers. Um, so that's not it. So you gotta be aware that sometimes how it's listed in this database isn't exactly how we would describe it. So I'm just gonna try searching for the word opener and see what I find here. So, um, it's not a letter opener. There you go. Can openers, including combination units. Okay, so this is the HTS code. So if I were to just highlight that, or actually if I just click on it, it's gonna pull it up right here. Um, this number here should match this one. And you can see that the can opener listing here, the rates of duty, you wanna look in the column one here, general and special, has no duties, okay? Uh, column two is for countries that don't have special uh, permission to import products. You'll see there are duties here. So you can see for can openers, there's no uh, duty, okay? Um, and so I'll give you another example. So let's just say we want to find um, another product like uh, uh, the felt letter boards. Okay, now I know this is probably going to be more difficult to find because it's probably not called a felt letter board. And you can see that when I do a search, it's not pulling anything up. So what I suggest in this case is actually go to Google and do a search for felt letter board HTS code. And what that'll do is it'll show you other people that have imported it and hopefully pull up the HTS code that they use to import it. So you can see here USA import data for felt letter board. So if we click on that, you can see here that here's some imports that were done recently. 
um, for this felt letter board plastic letters and here's the code right here okay so if we highlight that and go back to the database and just do a search for that code you can see that it pulled up the HTS code here so now if we click on that it's gonna pull it up on the right which is actually this one right here and you can see if we look in the first column again there's no duties all right and that's how easy it is to see if whatever product you're interested in importing from China, what the potential duties are. All right, so the other tool that I use is actually for doing product research, and it's the Jungle Scout web app. And this is a tool where it's analyzed all of the products in the Amazon marketplace so that you can find products by specific filters. Now, I'm not gonna go into exact detail on how to use this. I do have a video on it, which I'll leave a link to over here, as well as in the video description below. Now, what's powerful about the Jungle Scout web app subscription is that not only do you get access to the product database, but you also get access to the supplier database, which allows you to find the exact suppliers for your competitors. So it's such a powerful tool. It also allows you to vet suppliers to make sure you're finding top notch, high quality and reliable suppliers. It also gives you access to Keyword Scout, which is the only keyword research tool that I use now because it's extremely thorough and it's able to find keywords that most other re keyword research tools can't find, okay? And it also gives you access to Launch, which is which used to be called JumpSend, and it's now incorporated as part of the web app subscription. So now when you're launching a new product for handing out coupons and doing your email autoresponders, it's all included in one uh, monthly fee. So it's such a powerful uh, bundle now. So I actually have videos that cover each one of these tools. So I'll leave a link to all those in the description below if you want to learn how to use these. Now, of course, Jungle Scout also has the Chrome extension tool. So if you look at the count opener niche again and we open up the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, it pulls up all of the listings and provides all the data that you need to analyze each niche quickly and easily and all in one glance. Okay. So it gives you the price and the monthly sales, daily sales, monthly revenue. And what's convenient here is it also shows you the date or the age of all the listings, just like Keepa that I showed you earlier. So all in one glance here, I can see how new or how old these listings are to help determine how saturated this niche is potentially gonna be or is. Now, I do have a video on how to avoid saturated niches. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. Now, while I'm here, I also like to use the AMZ Scout Chrome extension, which I showed you earlier. So if I pull that up, it's gonna pull up the similar data as the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, but what I like about the AMZ Scout one is that it also has this saturation score. So at a glance, I can kind of see how saturated a niche has potentially become. So you can see here, it's got a score out of 10. The higher, the more saturated. And you can see here that it says 70 sellers have found this niche in the last month. Now, uh, AMZ Scout also has the available from uh, column as well. So you can see at a glance how old or how new these listings are, okay? So I like to combine all of these tools because each one has their set of tools that I like to use that make doing Amazon just that much quicker or easier. All right, so I hope you found these tools helpful for you as well. I'll leave links to all of them in the description below so you can download them. Now, if you're interested in trying out Jungle Scout or AMZ Scout, I do have coupons for them so you can save some money if you decide to upgrade. And if you wanna learn more about how you can build your own successful Amazon FBA private label business, I do have free training and my new Amazon course on my website, and I'll leave a link to that as well in the video description below. All right, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section below. I answer every single one of them. And I'm curious, if you have any tools that you use that you wanna share, post them in the comment section below too. I'd like to see what other tools are out there that I may not have discovered yet. All right, and if you wanna learn more about Amazon, check out these two videos over here. All right, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And make sure you click that bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. There's also a link in the description to our community forums, which you should totally join. And as always, thanks for watching.